But first, lawmakers from the Northern Panhandle are gearing up for West Virginia's next legislative session. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Tonight. I'm Colin Roos. So what are our representatives bringing to the table this time? 7 News anchor Stephanie Grinley sat down with both of District 1 state senators on what has their vote leading up to game day. The session is not the time for planning, it's the time for executing. It will be State Senator Owens Brown's first time voting on our behalf, and State Senator Ryan Weld is ready to bring to light new privacy laws. We'll start with Governor Jim Justice's plan to give a 5% pay increase to West Virginia state employees, including teachers. I think it's important to be able to uh, attract and retain individuals to, to work in the government that serves the people of West Virginia. It's not enough. Both senators say we need to keep a regional perspective. I mean, look around. Their district falls right between Ohio and Pennsylvania. Brown is calling for higher salaries for the over 20,000 educators in the state. He says we're losing population and it's time to start coughing up a wage that competes with our neighbors. A lot of, of the country think West Virginia is inundated with drugs mm -hmm. and bad schools. And we have to change that image of West Virginia somehow. Both senators have taxes on their mind. T tax cuts in certain areas that I'll probably be voting yes on. It depends on how it's targeted. You know, states so close to us that have different tax schemes, and so making sure that we're not doing something to disadvantage uh, employers here, but also individuals as well. In addition, Weld plans to fight for legislation that further protects the identities of victims of sexual assault in public record. Part of the problem uh, as a former prosecutor that I saw with sexual assault cases that was that victims, oftentimes when the, the details were released in the media or made public, that they were victimized twice. The 60-day session starts on the 12th, and as you can hear from these two, this only scratches the surface of what will be on the agenda, so stay tuned. For 7 News, I'm Stephanie Grinley, working for you.